Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me, Jessica McGovern, International Multi Award winning portrait photographer. And today we're going to be doing a photo shoot of Frank the Tank, who is a self nominated, uh, less than perfect dog model. So I'm going to be doing my shoot. We're not going to be doing it as kind of like anything other than little bits, tiny bits of behind the scenes, but I'm going to show you guys uh, just some little techniques and things that, that I would do with a dog that maybe is a little bit crazy and maybe doesn't have perfect behavior. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. The bell icon will give you a notification every single time I upload a YouTube video, which is every single week on a Friday at 12 noon UK time, but you can join from anywhere in the world if you want to. So without further ado, we'll jump into some bits and tips. I'll show you some pictures at the end and hopefully this is useful. If it is, make sure you leave a comment in the comments below and hit the like button on the video. Hello, Frank. <laughs> How old is Frank? Six. Six? Yeah. <laughs> Can I call him Frank the Tank? Call him what <laughs> So I probably should like narrate a little bit. He's going to have time to kind of explore and look at things anyway. Okay. So we'll probably just kind of let him have a sniff around, make sure he's kind of happy with everything. Just watch the frame chevrons. Okay because they'll go down like dominoes. It's like this. I really, Frank, mate, I don't think you're gonna fit. So um, essentially, the, my main kind of starting point with a dog like this is to somewhat ignore them, okay. which is why I'm not interacting. Yeah. So he can just kind of like deal with the environment and the atmosphere and the smells and stuff without having me winding him up yeah. essentially so we make it kind of like oh it's quite boring does frank know any behaviors like tricks or he can sit with the tree, sit with the tree. Oh. okay do you ha do you have any treats with you okay. you do okay cool super keep them a little bit hidden for now is he scared of anything not scared of any just watch yourself from getting wrapped up around that uh, but yeah, he can in, in explore, investigate, do whatever he needs to do. He's already, just probably because of his nature, he, uh, he's already kind of, um, he's not scared of anything, basically. Yeah. So he's not looking at things, wondering, you know, what is that? Can, is it going to eat me? He's quite chill. Yeah. Um, and I'm still ignoring him. Yeah. So I've not, I've not made eye contact with him once. Dan with the camera has. So you can see the result of that, because every time Dan bobs down and makes eye contact with him, he gets a Frank the Tank torpedo straight at the camera. So again, I'm just ignoring. So I'm kind of like one of the most boring people in here at the moment, but I will start to be a little bit more exciting. Is he okay with having like a lead around his neck? Yeah. He's okay, he doesn't panic with that at all. Okay, that's cool. And then what about squeaky noises or high pitched noises? Is he, does he, is he interested in them? Uh, it depends what it is. He's got a favourite thing that makes it squeak. Okay, right. So I'll make some like strange noises kind of as we go along. But the first thing that I want to do with him just in here is to uh, make sure that he's completely comfortable with the flashes of the lights because that's like a new thing that he's probably never experienced before. So I'll just grab my camera and we'll see his reaction with a pop. <laughs> uh oh, Ollie, run. <laughs> yeah, so he's got absolutely no reaction to the pop of the flash. So because of how much interest he's shown in things like the cables, the shelves and like stuff on them, for safety, we'll keep him on lead for the duration of the session. But I'm going to switch you guys over to a very thin, well, it's not super thin, but it's a thin line of rope. So I'm going to switch you over to that. Did you just lick that a little bit? But we're all right. It's not okay. It's not a problem. And again, I'm still ignoring him. So Frank's on a mission to go and investigate stuff. I'm going to make this just a simple piece of rope into a little mini slip lead because this will be really easy to edit out. And then he won't have, he'll be naked. Good boy. So he's happy enough to lie down and chill out, which is good. Dan, you're going to be a problem for us today. I can see it now. Okay, so we've just got a little slip lead for his head, pop through there, and then Ollie, this is yours. 
to hold, okay? So this is gonna have the whole of Frank on the end of it. If it gets to the point where it looks like he's gonna strangle himself, we'll abort mission um, and go with a different plan, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a super straightforward, simple shot to start with. So I'm just gonna move a light. What we'll do is um, I'll, I'll show you first and then if you kind of come on in. So what we want is we want Frank, can you see my feet? Yeah. I'm not sure. We want Frank, Frank to be sat probably like somewhere around about where my feet are in a sit facing forwards towards you. Now, if you need to, and some people do, crouch under the light to get him into that sit and then maybe step to the side, then that's fine. If we need to repeat it a few times, we'll repeat a few times. It's not the end of the world, okay? And he's not clocked me yet. Good boy. He's like, the frick was that? Good boy. You can give him a little stroke. Oh, you can have the treat. Can you try and pop him in a straighter sit? Is that all right, Ollie? He's like, oh God, he's seen her. Good boy, reward that, reward that. That was a superstar. You guys all telling me that he's like very boisterous and actually he's, he's come in, he's been super good. A lot of that, a lot of that though is me ignoring, yeah. me ignoring him so that it's not a big deal. So you want him kind of central to the middle of that floor as is possible. Good boy, sit down, you lie down. Good, you stay there. He's super handsome. Uh, 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 uh. Good boy. Let me move sadly. Oh, hang on, it's all right. We're in a good stage of chill. Chilling out, Dan's not doing anything. Everybody's calm. And Frank's gonna go to nap nap time. You know, it's kinda like clockwork. I'm gonna change the background because I feel like he's fine on the dark one, but I think it would be much more fun if it was a bright color, don't you? That's a good boy. He's a little bit far back, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, he can lie down. He can lie down. Don't stress him. It's okay if he, if he just needs like a minute, because he can have a minute. That's okay. Wow. Good things now. Good boy. Stay in there. Oh. Good. It's like, who is this crazy lady? Why does she want me to do things? He's like, I'm just smiling the whole time. I'm feeling good. I'm pretty central again for this one, Ollie. That's good. It's all right. Bring, bring, this way. This way. Can you rotate? Good. Can we sit? Good. Waiting. Stay. If you know what that means. So we're going to do a nap nap again because we're like real chill chickens now. Nap nap nap. Bed, bed, bed. Bed, bed, bed. Eyes up, Dan. The shuffle. That's it. We got it. 10 out of 10. And Ollie, that is the cutest this dog's ever going to look in his entire life. Good boy, reward, big rewards. Eat some. You can eat some. Good boy, that'll do, Ollie. We'll do it, finish there. Because he's done a good boy. So, in terms of Frank, I think 
one of the main things if you're dealing with like a super boisterous dog for anybody who cares about it um, is ignore them. Mm. It's like probably the easiest single easiest thing to do is just ignore them and then be very calm, like in your body and in yourself as well. Because I think one of the yeah, we're like calm, nice low tones, chill. Because what probably one of the one of the biggest things I see is when people go to like a dog photographer, go a dog dog photographer is doing a session. The dog comes in and they're like, oh, how cute! Look at this!" And then they get down and like start really kind of interacting. He's going to pant because he's hot and he's somewhat overweight. Um, but we've talked about this, haven't we, Ollie? Yeah. <laughs> he's. <laughs> 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 he takes after his own. Well, he's not. So Frank is a rescue Labrador, which is probably something we should have said at the start, and we didn't. So Frank's a rescue, and he's on a diet. And Ollie tries to keep to the diet. 